Today I'm going to show you a bean recipe me and my aunt used to make. If you saw how we blanched the beans and everything, this is one they did and it was one of my favorites. The, basically the recipe calls for ham hocks, the center end of a pork, roast or whatever, a little onions, and then we fortify it up, you know, with a beef type base. I found the McCordon beef base, as I mentioned in the other stuff. Now, I've come back and I've boiled this stuff oh, a couple hours. With These are pork necks. And I'm going to take uh, all the, the meat off the bones here in a minute. You can see the nice deep red stock. Here are the beans that, you know, we blanched a little while ago. It's going to have a little bit of new potatoes in it. I'm going to put some uh, a little more onion in the thing as I cook it up. Um, I'm going to put some mushrooms. Now, as you can see, I've come back. I've shredded the pork necks. One of the things you want to be real careful when you shred it up, make sure all the bones out of it and that type of stuff. Uh, you know, you kind of get gagged in it. I've come back in, I've cut up a half of a large onion over there. It's already got a little bit of onion flavor. i got my new potatoes kind of chopped up. My beans are done. Now, I'm not going to put the uh, beans back in because I've got to cook the potatoes and meat to add a little bit more flavor. And, of course, we're going to go into this deep, rich stock over here, which just adds tremendous flavors to the beans. All right, here's kind of the final dish. Basically what I did, I, I came back over like I showed you before. Um, I cooked down some onions, I put the mushrooms in, cooked that up, got the mushrooms a little soft, then I came back and added the potatoes in, and you can see they're, they're fork tender. You don't want to cook them too much where it just kind of sticks in the fork a little like that. About halfway through, I added the beans. Now all you're going to do is just let it sit and you serve it up and you've got a, a, a great side dish meal. Hope you enjoyed. This is an old recipe that you know my aunts and my mothers used to make on the farm. I used to make twice the amount of this because we had many mouths to feed. Uh, again, what I like about it, no preservatives. It's all good fresh food. Takes a little time to make it, but I think everybody should try to make it one time.